Alright, so... That happened. Gee golly gosh. Yeah, I don't feel bad about that choice at all. I was not at all about to let them torture Triss. I guess now's as good a time as any to... Wait, is this going where I think it is? Now's as good a time as any to... Talk about the Yennefer versus Triss debate. I've done my research and here's what I've come up with. The reasons to go with Yennefer. She is quote-unquote Geralt's true love. Hey, can I come in here and talk to the... Uh, Talk to the innkeep. Meet the headmistress. See if she uh, has anything to say about me saving her, saving her place. Still want to be mean to me? So, a bit of lust in your freakish heart after all. Nope. Got anything to sell? Ba doop, ba doop. I guess that's about it. Oops. So long. Wait, what? How do we? What? <laughs> okay. All right, but as I was saying. Yennefer is quote-unquote Geralt's true love. They have been through a lot together since before the games even started. Geralt, they are eternally bound, their fates at least, one way or another, be it romantic or otherwise, by the wish of a genie. And they are both Ciri's respective parent figures, for one. And just Geralt throughout the course of the books, and even throughout the course of the games, once he got his memory back, <coughs> he really, truly does care for Yennefer. And she truly does care for him. And that's basically what it comes down to. They just, they are in love. They love each other. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. But, um... Yeah. They're just, Geralt really, truly cares for her and ha will do and has done anything for her. And they just, they have that bond. What do you have on offer? And Geralt has been all through all of this, dang it, just to try to find her again. And what's this? Huh. I can sell this to him? Weird. Whoops. Yes. And, I mean, I guess that's really all there is to it. Just, it doesn't sound, it doesn't sound like as big a deal as it really is when I just put it in plain terms like that, but, so long. I mean, all I can think of to say is that they really are in love. It's, they've been through so much. Like I said, I mean, Geralt has saved Yennefer's life multiple times, I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure it also goes the other way around. And I think when they... Basically, the extent of what I know is that Yennefer was for some reason going to be killed by a genie. But I guess for some reason that genie was... Uh, 
under Geralt's control. And so Geralt saved her life by wishing that her fate would be eternally bound to his. Or something to that effect. And so are their fates forever bound. And they fell in love. And gosh, I really, I wish I could come up with something else to say about it, because there really is more to it than that, but I'm just drawing a blank. And that really is just what it comes down to, though. They are, Yennefer is Geralt's first and quote-unquote truest love. <clears throat> and the only reason he was with Triss in the first place is because he had amnesia. <clears throat> but... Geralt really would go to the ends of the earth for Yennefer. They have been through so much together, had so many... And their relationship throughout the books, to my understanding, was really... Uh, had a lot of turbulence. Like, she's just... I mean, people have described their relationship as toxic. Because Yennefer is just such a vindictive, uh, jealous person who's passions just kind of fly around with the wind and flare up at a moment's notice. That's my understanding of her character from the research I've done. And... But despite all of that, Geralt loves her, you know? And, like, she is the one that he loves, despite all of that, and despite whatever happens, despite whatever they go through, they always ended up still being with each other because they were in love. And then after, like, after the events of the book happened and everything, they were finally able to, like, settle down and live together. And they were just, they were in love. And it sounds corny for me to just keep saying that, but if you take a moment to really think about what it really means, the fact that they were just in love, like, just saying that one thing is enough of a reason in and of itself, you know? Like, it wasn't just they were attracted to each other, it wasn't just they liked each other, they weren't just into each other, they were in truest love. And that's not something that just happens. And now this is probably going to start some sort of dialogue. Oh wait, right, we're doing this. Find the drop box, place the holy tome there to signal that you want to meet with the spy. He's a good man. Honest. Righteous. Eternal fire, you are my only hope. Grant what I ask and I'll spare no I don't know if I'm seeing it. Most hallowed fire. Many thanks to you. Must be the drop box. There we go. Nobody's watching. Leave the signal. I should show up in far corners before midnight. Have mercy on me. So that's that's the thing with Yennefer. Reasons against Yennefer are like I mentioned, people have described their relationship as toxic. People People, some people are of the mind that Yennefer is not good for Geralt because of all of the ins and outs that she puts him through. Like, I don't know any details, but basically, like I said, she's a very vindictive and jealous person. And apparently their relationship has seen a whole lot of stops and starts and breakups and makeups and such because Yennefer is just such a fiery and flighty person which you don't really get to see a whole lot of in this game so far at least and I'm really looking forward to being able to interact with her more so there's that people say that Geralt is or people say that Yennefer is bad for Geralt that he that she is excuse me okay <laughs> Nobody's dying? <clears throat> yeah, people just say that she's bad for him. That she... I can't really think of any better way to des to describe it. That, like... Um... 
gosh. Uh, uh, I really can't think of any better way to put it other than just that she's not good for him. That she doesn't really care about him as much as she should because of everything she puts him through and how she like does all the breaking up and making up and being bipolar and turning on a dime and all that kind of stuff. People say it's a bad relationship. And that Geralt can't really be happy with it because she'll always be that way. But, in my opinion, all the evidence seems to point to the fact that that's not... Why are people running around? Or are those kids? Yeah, I think they're kids. Yeah. In the way I see it, it seems like all evidence has pointed thus far to them, uh... To them ending up making it in the end, you know? From what I've gathered, it doesn't seem like the way the uh, tremulousness of their relationship makes them any less in love and makes them any worse for each other. If anything, some people say that the fact that she's like that is the best thing for Ge for Geralt. And that's like... That how could he be with somebody who's any other way? Because, like, they're perfect for each other, you know? Geralt is, in a lot of ways, the same way she is. Just as stubborn, just as sometimes vindictive, just as lusty for other people every once in a while, you know? And so... That's the sum of that. And then as far as Triss is concerned... Obviously can't go there yet, it's not anywhere close to midnight. Things for Triss. Thank you. In Triss's favor... You can argue that Geralt and Triss haven't been through as much together as Geralt and Yennefer have. But that doesn't mean that Geralt and Triss have not been through a lot together. When Geralt first uh, was recovering from his... Uh, well, when Geralt was first found and woke up after he first acquired his amnesia, uh, Triss was the one who was there for him. And was... Uh, well, just trying to help him and care for him. And she did. Um... There's supposed to be a merchant here? Um... Okay. Alright then. Guess I'll figure something out. Um... Wow, these... Whatever you're doing to your fields, I don't think it's working. <laughs> But yeah, so Triss was the one who was there for him when he was first found after he woke up from his amnesia. And she's been there for him ever since, essentially. Ever since, rather. Um, <laughs> they, they had a relationship, and Triss has always helped him. She was there to help him find and figure out the whole thing with Salamandra in the first game. She was there for him through when he was like she was the one stalwartly at his side helping him when he was looking for Letho the Kingslayer even though for the majority of the game she was kidnapped but that's not anything against her being with him because you know the reason she got kidnapped is because she was with him and then I would say then Geralt saved her but on the gameplay choices I chose, he didn't save her. He chose to release uh, to release the dragon lady from her curse so that she could A, 
not die, B, not be used as a mind. Another evil sorceress. What in the world? <laughs> but, yeah. And beyond everything else, though, beyond all that, Triss just seems to really genuinely care for Geralt. Like, she just wants the best for him. She wants to protect him. She wants to help him any way she can. She's just, she's loyal, you know? She's just a good person. Triss is good people. And, uh, she just, she really cares about him. Just like how I was saying how Geralt genuinely cares about Yennefer, Triss genuinely cares about Geralt. And... Uh, gosh, you know, I thought I would, I thought I had much more cohesive ideas about this in my head, but I guess I really don't. Yeah, Triss is just, if Yennefer is the fiery, tremulous relationship, then Triss is, quote-unquote, the kind and warm, stable relationship. Like, Yennefer is danger and Triss is safety. She's such a warm and kind person that Yennefer will never really be. And she, for, uh, for everything that I've seen, she seems really devoted to Geralt. Like, she really wa just wants to do whatever she can to help him whenever he needs it. And that's not to say that Yennefer isn't also like that, but it's well and truly buried underneath everything else that she is. Points against Triss, people say that she took advantage of Geralt after he had his amnesia. People, uh, and I mean, that's what people say, but I guess you can't really say that they're wrong, because Triss liked Geralt even when, even before he had his amnesia, when him and Yen when him and her and Yennefer were all friends. And I'm just walking around, killing time while I finish what I'm saying here. Well, well, another freak. Uh, and she was jealous of Yennefer because she was infatuated with Geralt. Let's go kill some monsters. Okay. And uh, so. When he had his amnesia, is she like a little girl? Oh, no, nope, she's not. She's just short. So once Geralt had amnesia, Triss pretty much just took advantage of him in the situation. She, well, he doesn't remember Yennefer anymore, so let's let him be in love with me then. Because for all of that time, she never told him about Yennefer. She just... She just took him for herself, basically. And never made any move to help him remember his quote-unquote true love. Now, there was the part in the second game where she said she was going to try to help him get his memory back, but I don't really know what ended up happening with that, or how genuine she was with it. Uh, so, I can't really take that into account. And even though, even, even if she was doing that in the second game, throughout the entirety of the first game, she still didn't make any mention of Yennefer. Didn't make, didn't try to help him remember at all, just took him for herself. So there's that to take into account. And then there's also that, I don't know how much I agree with this, but people say that they don't know how devoted Triss really is. Because it seems like what people say is that she always has some sort of ulterior motive. And that politics, her pol she puts politics before she puts Geralt. Because I can't remember any of the specific examples, but there have been situations in which she knew something that Geralt needed to know and didn't tell him because she wasn't supposed to because of her, you know, politics, when she was in with the Lodge of Sorceresses and whatnot. Like, in the second game, she knew, I think, 
that the Lodge of Sorceresses was involved in the Kingslayings, but she never made any mention of it to Geralt, because as a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, she wasn't supposed to say anything about it. And I could be wrong that she might not have known anything about it, but I think I read that she did. And so there are people who say that that shows that she's not really all in with Geralt, that yes, she cares about him, but obviously she doesn't care about him uh, en entirely, you know? She still sees her politics as more important than him and will not put him before her political duties. And people say that that's a point against her. That was weird. I was just I was walking on autopilot for a second. So there's that. Basically what it comes down to, as far as I can tell, is that Yennefer and Geralt, they have something. They have a deep, long-forged bond. And for reasons that maybe can't even be entirely explained, they just really love each other. And they, through thick and thin, they always have found a way to make it work and be together. And they just are quote-unquote soulmates. Um, uh, there was something else. And also the fact that despite all of the tri tribulation, is that a word? Well, that's what I'm going to say. Despite all of the tribulation with their relationship, the fact that even with all of that, even with Yennefer being such a jealous, vindictive person, even with Geralt being such a, I guess, lustful and stubborn person, they always still manage to get back together in the end, you know? And that just is a testament to how much they really care about each other, and that no matter what, they will always really care about each other. And no matter what happens, it's not going to stop them from being together. And then with Triss, it's just, she seems to, I mean, unless you are of the camp of thought that she doesn't really, and that she's not really loyal to him because of her political stuff, but it seems like she really is just stalwartly loyal to Geralt and just really cares about him and really just wants to do anything she can for him. She's kind, she's warm, she's loyal, and she just genuinely cares and wants the best for Geralt. Like, she's just... I can't really think of any better way to say it, just she really cares about him. And the thing is, I don't know if you can really say that she loves him the way that Yennefer arguably does. Because they had a relationship, yes, but you could argue that it doesn't really go as deep as the one with Yennefer did. 